Okay. I had to start this video over. Because a, a case fell in the back room back there. It's like, what fell down in the back room? Um, oh my goodness. Uh, you know, anytime I make a video like this, someone always says, uh, you know, why didn't you include that lens? Well, I actually have some existential reasons for every video and why I make it the way I make it. Um, there are four lenses that nobody, well, I should say nobody, basically nobody ever mentions, and they're these. These are uh, full-frame lenses. Most of these are also usable, perfectly so, on crop sensor DX cameras. And they are the most amazing, horribly underrated, incredible lenses. All these are current production lenses. In no particular order, let's start over here. If you have a Nikon D850 or full-frame camera and you travel with it, you don't own this lens, you're a knucklehead. This is not the older version. You'll find tons of these, the 18 to 35 on uh, eBay used just because it's a cruddy old lens not this one this is the 1835-3545G series Nikkor and it's also pretty damn incredibly cheap I think it's uh, currently $750 uh, new new price I believe $750 it is insanely lightweight for travel I can't even imagine a more perfect lens than this the 18-35G series Nikkor absolutely amazing unbelievable it's actually too cheap it's an incredible lens um i must be crazy for owning six of these and uh, this is a lens that uh, people are like why would i want a 180 millimeter prime lens it's kind of ridiculous it's metal and it's heavy it's got built-in lens hood why do i have six of these lenses it's that incredible nobody needs six of these lenses i don't know why i own six of them because really the really the real reason why i own six of these is because there's a ton of them on eBay, at least there usually is, and they're really, really freaking cheap. Sometimes they're obnoxiously cheap. When you see them used in camera stores, they'll sit there collecting dust because everybody that buys lenses, they look at it and they go, oh, that must be some old turd of a lens. No, this lens is crotch melting. Talk about grab your lacy pink panties tightly. This lens is amazing. This lens is the gravy train on biscuit wheels. This is a southern analogy. <laughs> southern analogy, by the way. Absolutely amazing. My buddy is the uh, the haute couture and supermodel photographer for Vogue, L. Harper's Bazaar. He uses this lens quite a bit. I think it's. I don't know what it ranks, but it definitely ranks his top four favorite lenses for shooting the best of the best on the covers of the best of the best. Um, this lens is absolutely amazing. If you go to the Flickr page for this lens and you see the images they're absolutely mind-numbing absolutely mind-numbing just what what an incredible lens this is actually the worst copy I got because someone used a wrong lens cap and they actually scratched the hell not out of the lens they didn't scratch it they actually um, caused a coating issue on the front element not that that's I mean I got this lens really really cheap absolutely an amazing lens that's a hundred and eighty millimeter 2.8 d series nikkor nikon still makes that lens for a reason and the reason they still make it is because people with a brain that know what the hell's going on in nikon glass know what the hell a, uh, you know a good rendering lens is and that lens is right at the pinnacle there's a reason nikon still makes that lens this is basically almost my all-time favorite lens a prime wide not a 35 which I have got tons and tons of 35s. And also the 1.4 version is incredible. This is the uh, Nikkor 24mm 1.8G. I think new this lens is $800. This is also the best, most perfect lens for FX, or all of these are FX lenses, by the way. The best perfect lens for FX or DX out there that I can think of. I actually cannot think of a better lens that's perfectly suited for it. Because on a DX crop sensor, it's a 35 millimeter field of view. Perfect. And of course, a 24 millimeter field of view on an FX lens. Absolutely amazing. It's, it's incredible. This lens is incredible. By the way, I get this question quite often because there's a couple knuckleheads on YouTube that don't know, uh, you know, don't know up from down or left or right that say you shouldn't stick FX lenses on crop sensor cameras and that is the most absurd twaddle ever have I heard well actually I've heard of something more absurd than that which is uh, larger sensors gather more light and that's absolutely BS too 
because exposure is per unit area, not per total area. Sensors in your camera don't work like a picture windows, so larger sensors don't gather more light. It's the same reason <laughs> that every professional light meter on Earth has no button or dial setting for choosing the sensor size. You know, it's because exposure is per unit area. Yeah, there's a hard fact to nail people with. And last but not least, uh, my favorite portrait lens of all time, period, flat out. It's like, well, that's your opinion. Yeah, it is. They still make this lens. It's also a built-in metal lens hood. Also made in Japan, all metal piece of dream boatness. You can usually find these for like 600 to 700 some bucks used like new on uh, eBay. This is the 105mm F2 DC Nikkor, low element count, beyond reproach, absolute perfection. By the way, too, if you want to shoot black and white portraiture, the micro contrast, the internal detail on this lens is off the hook. This lens is absolutely amazing. It's built like a brick outhouse. This is uh, what I would call Zeiss level quality at a Nikon. Nikon still does make some all Japanese, all metal lenses that are just built like brick outhouses. Here are two examples, the 180-2.8 and the 105mm F2 DC Nikkor. Nobody, I don't mean nobody, because someone's going to type in the comments, well, I mentioned it. It's like, well, yeah, you did, but I'm talking about in totality. In totality, really, nobody mentions these lenses, nor do they inquire about them. And they really are also, too, across the, the spectrum of the Internet, because there's always some goofball that thinks the latest lens is always the best. And, of course, that's just nonsense and BS. I mean, i got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lenses, literally hundreds and hundreds of lenses. Nearly 500 lenses, which is ridiculous, and tested a lot more. These lenses are incredible. Nobody talks about them. You really don't see them mentioned on boards. Um, if I could have one lens uh, glued to my camera, that would be perfect for nearly everything. It would be a hard choice, but of these four, it would definitely be the 24mm 1.8G. The, uh, the 1.4 is actually also excellent, however, quite expensive. Double the price for two-thirds of a stop increase of speed between 1.8 and 1.4 at $1,600, which is double the price of this puppy at 800 All of these lenses would just make anybody happy. The only person it wouldn't make happy is some stupid person or if you got a bad copy of one. So that's my pick of the best underrated Nikon manufactured lenses for your Nikon camera. Nobody discussed it. And this lens is amazing. You're traveling? God, it's so lightweight. It's so incredible. Do not even consider buying the cheaper D-series version of this lens because it's a stinker. This lens, however, is a G-series and it's not a stinker. It's far from it. A little bit tired, too much coffee, burning the candle at both ends. That's my problem, but I uh, hope you like these videos. If you do, you can click the link below because I don't work off of affiliate links and uh, I absolutely kill myself making, not literally, but seemingly so, off of, uh, not the videos so much, it's just the comments and the, the emails and the phone calls, it's relentless. The truth is that other than get going out for a coffee a couple hours ago, I haven't left the house in two days. I've been so backlogged on taking care of emails and whatnot. And uh, I know the rest of these clowns are not doing that. It's like, well, that's your choice. You're right, it is my choice. My choice of burning the candle at both ends is also kind of doing me in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's it. Happy holidays. I'm going to warm myself by this imaginary fire over here. And then make another video. And then call it a night, maybe. Okay? Bye.